Red carpet, hi. hi. It's hot. You're hot. Hey, look who's talking. What did you do to get ready tonight? What's your red carpet secret? Oh my gosh, my red carpet secret. First of all, stunning, amazing dress by Kevin Hall, one of my favorite designers. Maybe my probably first secret would be to make sure that I'm wearing something that fits me really well and just makes me feel like a queen. And as long as I know that I'm going to be wearing something that makes me feel beautiful and also like myself, um, I think then all of the pieces fall into place. Then you look at the jewelry and you think about the hair and the makeup, what's going to... But... A little bit of champagne to be wearing. <laughs> That's okay. probably like we won't tell. My red... That's my red carpet secret. <laughs> okay, so I just one glass though, or two. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's a secret. It's a just secret. between you and me and all of your viewers, all two million of them. <laughs> so True Blood Six, tell us about your experience working on set. Well, I mean, it was, it's an amazing military drama that is really, really kind of socio-politically relevant and very timely dealing with issues that we're facing today. So that's really great and was very exciting for us uh, as the actors. I've always believed in art as activism, so it really means a lot to me and really resonates to get to play characters and uh, explore themes that will resonate with our audiences and that actually speak to what's going on in our world today. Is there an added pressure with social commentary like that? I mean, in terms of m my character, because, you know, my storyline was revolving around the sto a story inspired by the, the Chibok girls, almost 300 Chibok girls who were abducted by Boko Haram in Nigeria. Almost 200 of them are still missing. So I felt a tremendous responsibility to just make sure that I'm capturing all of their courage and humanity and integrity um, and just telling their story as authentically and as truthfully as possible. Because, you know, it's, it's a real story and their families will watch, hopefully, you know, God willing, if they're um, able to escape or be rescued, then they will watch one day too and just feel like they're represented well and that their voice is heard. What lesson do you think you're taking away from all of that, you personally, and the way you're living your life? Well, look, I'm an African woman. Um, so I think I just feel a tremendous amount of pride, but also responsibility in having the platform that I do as a working actress in Hollywood to just make sure that I'm perhaps doing work that is um, dismantling maybe certain narrow-minded or racist stereotypes about Africa and Africans. So I take that opportunity and responsibility really seriously, and I just try to pour as much um, humanity and integrity and intelligence and nuance into the performances as possible so that, you know, Naomi is kick-ass and, and, you know, defies stereotypes and is very much her own person and has an enormous amount of her own kind of will and agency and that she's as, as much of a warrior and a badass as the boys on the show. Well, despite the pressure and the stress, it seems like you are really embodying it and enjoying it. Thank you. I hope so. And, you know, watching the show air every every week and engaging with the fans on social media, it's really great to see how the show is resonating with our audiences. Um, it is intense and it is kind of heavy and dealing with serious issues, but there's also some comedy there and love stories as well. So I'm just sort of enjoying that part of the process now of just seeing how the world is embracing it and enjoying it, you know? Well, we are most certainly embracing and enjoying. Have fun tonight. Thank you. I'll see you out there. We'll get another glass of champagne in the after party, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Once we're done with all of the, the work. After work. <laughs> after work. <laughs> Thank you.